Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to another 5 Minutes Freddy video, and today I'm here with... The Thrill Jones of Shadow, or Jinja, if you're a fan of Zombies live streams, which you should be. Go check out Zombie streams. But, um, but yeah, um, what we're gonna be discussing today is a 5 Minutes of Freddy's 4 theory about, well, the phone dude in FNAF 3. Your favorite character in FNAF 3. However, as much as this isn't really a FNAF 4 theory, it could connect to phone dude and FNAF 4 or whether he's not in FNAF 4 so we're still gonna consider this a FNAF 4 theory but I want you guys to kind of pay attention to the 5 minutes for these three phone calls where phone dude calls you on the first and second night now the first night nothing goes wrong he just says I'll call you back tomorrow night the first night literally nothing happens it's a wasted night one of the reasons why I'm so salty about the game as people could probably tell by now but the thing about this though is that with this call he explained how to use all the stuff but with the second call he basically told you that spring trap was in your uh bit was in the building and that he found some audio tapes which ended up being phone guy now with this being said he said he'll call you back later and this is where the theory starts is phone dude dead now i want you guys to uh um, listen um, to this um now he did say that he was going back to the old place to find some relics and he said he'll call you back later on and he never returns for four more nights he never returns for four more nights he doesn't return for night until night five he doesn't return to nightmare mode which i would assume even if it was a nightmare you would at least hear him on the phone well, you'd think at least at the end of the week that he'd give you a phone call till you know it's the end of the week yeah especially That's if it's your first weekend you know, normally you give someone a phone call if you're giving them phone calls, but, you know, apparently not not in this business. Apparently not, yeah. Exactly. Now, now, the thing about this, though, is that with that being said, with, with this theory being correct, this can explain why you never get a check. And you could say, well, the building burned down. One of the possibilities. However, yeah. however, think about this. You don't get a check on night five. You don't get a check, which there's no reason why this isn't the case because the building didn't burn down yet. And even so, even if the building did burn down, he would still at least have the right you would check. Or you would at least... You would think, yeah, normally with any business, if you do, you put hours in, the business needs to pay you. The only way the business wouldn't be able to pay you is if they go like, bankrupt or something. But mm -hmm. even if the place got burnt down, they should still have money. Like, they were planning to run this business. Exactly. Surely they weren't waiting for the, get, waiting for the business to open and start earning money before they had any money. Normally businesses like this already have money before they start, at least enough to pay security guards and things. Now, you, so. you could also say that maybe he didn't die and he was just taking a long time finding relics and such. But, I mean, I, I'm... Well, for first thing, I'm pretty sure he didn't spend four nights inside of this building. With nothing. Unless he's dead in the building, lying there on the floor. Exactly. Or in an animatronic body. Exactly. Or in a toilet. Or, any, <laughs> or anything like that. All possibilities. Or anything like that, but the thing about this though is that what if something in that building and he went to actually murdered him, for instance, or it could have been for any other reason, but let's just say something inside of the building that he went to. What if something there actually murdered him? And you like and another reason why it isn't the case that he was just looking for more relics is that from the night that he introduced you and the night that he brought Springtrap into the building, he still returned the next night. And that's a big thing that he brought in was a spring trap. Like he had to drive that thing from one place to another in his car or something like that into the building. You would think if when he met Springtrap originally when he found him or when he dropped him off or, you know, some point between that time, Springtrap would have activated and murdered him if he was going to. Mm -hmm. He didn't. He, you know, Springtrap got moved into the building. Springtrap was fine. And if his body was found somewhere, if it was in the building, surely it would have been seen. So somebody would have found it. Exactly. That, that's, that's the thing about this. I mean, I honestly really find it a bit suspicious how um, he never calls you again after night two. And when he says he'll call you right back, and the fact that you never get a check, which never re reveals who the player is, and just all that information is left behind. Because, like I said before, I personally think that they're dead. The phone dude is dead. Such a great loss to the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. No, but in, in, in all seriousness, though. Just the fact that, if you think about it, it, it does make a lot of sense. And another theory about this is that this can also explain why the place burned down. Perhaps, maybe, it doesn't burn down overnight. Like, you know how he says to uh, 
the check on the power and the fire and all that. None of that happens for the night for you overnight. But what if when he goes there, when he goes into the building, since the place isn't open yet, that he goes there during the daytime since you know how horror attractions they're meant to go to during nighttime, right? What if what normally if, to make it more scary, yeah. Exactly. So what if the place was meant to be op like when it was open for the public? It was meant to open at nighttime, which is basically when he when you work there. He even says when the people walk in the building, uh, they're part of the attraction. Exactly. So the place was meant to be walked around during the hours of twelve o'clock a.m. to six a.m. I think it could have been open during the day as well. I mean, some attractions do open up daytime as well, but yeah, places have to be closed at some point. Exactly, which is why I personally think the power went out, is because he didn't want this building to be left open for 24 hours straight over time, because eventually he even said that the fire was a real risk. And excluding the nightmare is a, well, a nightmare theory um, for FNAF 3, what if that fire is real, and what if the reason why it burned down is because no one was able to shut it down? Because a night guard probably didn't know how to shut all this equipment down. He only knew how to Normally use- Normally never told to. <laughs> he never told you how to turn it off or anything like that. He just told you how to, well, use it. And the thing about this, though, is that what if Phone Dude went to the building every night, or I should say every day, and turned it off so that the building wouldn't catch on fire? Since he's dead, he wasn't able to do that. Hence the reason why the place burned down. You know, possibility. It, Nothing it, it, obviously it concrete towards it, but you know, these are all possibilities. These are things that could have happened because obviously him being the owner of the place, he did have certain responsibilities. The place was dodgy. Mm -hmm. So you could connect these dots together. It could be possibly, it could be why he's well, possibly dead. Yeah. And I mean, I, I don't know if it's anything to point out too, but the phone dude did say that he did have connections with some of the builders of the previous buildings. So, that's a bit strange too. Now, my theory is that possibly, you know how he said he went to the hidden location, the boarded up rooms, right? Well, it must have been to get Springtrap out, yeah. Yeah. If you notice in the FNAF 3 minigames, there's two boarded up rooms. What if he went in one of them? He went inside one of them. And then the next night after you're going back to my theory, but I'm dying on a toilet now because those are the toilets. Well, no, not 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 necessarily, but just bringing up the fact that those board up rooms, one was Springtrap, and the other was Golden Freddy's, and Golden Freddy was yet again another death of another phone person. He killed the FNAF one guard most likely, or not guard. Don't be, you better start a riot. He most likely killed him. It's just a strong possibility he's one of the higher suspects. Well, well that's what I brought up. I said, I said most likely killed him. Most likely killed the phone person there. And in FNAF 3, it's most likely that he killed him as well. So, regardless of what killed him or who killed him, do you guys think that phone dude died? Do you guys think that's the reason why he never called up? Do you guys think that's the reason why the place burned down? Do you think he's just like many other people in FNAF and just really, really crap at his job? That's mm -hmm. why he never phoned back? I mean, like Ginger brought up, he, it would make sense for him to call you on the final night you work there to let you know that your, end, your shift is basically over because, I mean, the fact that you don't get paid after night five, like, I could kind of understand after the fire, even though technically that shouldn't be the case. Insurance, paycheck, I think they should have been more loaded after the fire, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Once that money hit in. So, um, I just want you guys to comment down below what you guys think about this theory. Do you guys think it was a crap theory? Do you guys think it was an enjoyable theory? Personally, I really think this is a strong theory, to be absolutely honest. There's a lot of evidence pointing towards it. You just um, love Fun Dude too much. I like Fun Dude. He's a cool character. <laughs> but, um, yes, we're supposed to be. <laughs> but, um, anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure that you guys leave a like. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys check out me and Ginger's channel. And why not hit that subscribe button? If you do enjoy our content, but until next time, guys, we'll be all seeing you later. Peace out. Bye.